Hey, do you think we could share that dragon eye? Shreki, Alpha Mata. My thoughts exactly. I'm done. I am done. This is not for me. Going somewhere? Yes, I'm going home. Where I belong. I was promised wonder and adventure and fantastical floating islands. And what I got was a Daventry that will never live up to what it once was. Daventry needs you, Graham. I know it's not what you expected, but give it time. We can work through the kinks together. It can be great once again with the right people in charge. I'm not that person. And you should stop believing in me. I could get you killed. Fine. Leave. Be a dentist for all I care. I guess Sachaka was wrong. What? what Eh, nothing. It was nice meeting you, Graham. Spill it. Well, Achaka and I were chatting during your chivalry test, and he had some thoughts about you. Didn't you find it odd that Achaka entered this tournament, Graham? Did he ever tell you why? Well, he might have. But I only learned two words of his language. A horrendous famine struck Achaka's village, Ichtuwe. He left his suffering family to enter this tournament. He hoped to seek an audience with the king to plead for help. It was a long shot, even for him. Oh, great. So because of me, a whole village will starve. That makes me feel better. No. Because of you, a village will be saved. Achaka was impressed by you. He told me he was watching you on your travels to Daventry, and that you seemed like the type of person that could inspire change. More so than those bucket heads, anyways. I... I... Uh... If you're not going to compete for yourself or me, do it for the Ichtuans. They need you. You're their last hope. For those brave souls that are still with us, welcome back. Now, you may have heard some squawking from a few naysayers in our kingdom concerned with the ethics of the tournament. <laughs> but proclamations and addendums aside, this is the way we have always done it in Daventry. And this is the way we will continue to do it. Now, Knight Hopefuls, if you would be so kind as to present your eyes. Oh, hold still.
I'd look happier if that was my eye. I'd look less happy if that was my face. Look who's talking. Yes, look who is talking. Congratulations, everybody. We officially accept all the eyes presented. I'll see you in the duels. Take that and that! Oh, Mr. Springbottom. What? You're surprised I'm competing in the stuffed animal tournament? I will make some stories of my own. <laughs> I'll pick up where my last book left off. It was called 31 Ways to Slay a Monster. Yar! Arr! Yeah, yeah! Hi, yeah! Hi, yeah! That's what you get, Mr. Springbottom. Hi, yeah! Gwendolyn! I'm sorry, Grandma. Oh, I'll take care of it, dear. I came to tell you your grandfather is ready for you. Run along, go have some adventures. Just try to have your next adventure away from my glass vases, please. Now it's time for my favorite part of the tournament, the duels. Ha <laughs> ha! You will compete against each other in a duel of strength and a duel of speed with the winners facing off in a championship duel of wits. The pairings of knights were selected at random, so no complaining. I'm looking at you, Whisper. Any ties will be settled in sudden death. The winner, of course, will gain the knight position. The duel of strength will take place at our fantastical and wondrous floating island. And bring your steed to the tournament theatre for the duel of speed. Please unveil the tournament board. I will remain here for any questions. Good luck! Which did you tackle first? The duel of speed or the duel of strength? I'd always been a straight shooter, but a chakra opened my eyes. All right, that one wasn't that bad. Well, thank you. Take out all those goblins. With swiftness or patience, you'll have to wait and see.
Excuse me, you fiends! Oh, it's you again! Save me! Save me! Stop this madness! Help! Avail! Dwarf! Hilfe! Help! You could have saved me, boy! I'm sorry! No! Who will deliver all my oftentimes delicious ingredients? Who will feed and bathe Mr. Fancy Cakes? I have no stepmother! I searched that vagrant. A package had flown off the cart that was to be delivered to the hobble pots. It was a snoozing leaf. The squirrels remember that? <laughs> the squirrels will most certainly remember that. Graham, a little squirrel told me the news. Oh, I'm deeply sorry you lost a friend. This horrible tournament spawns a vicious cycle of violence every year. When will Daventry recognize that slaying ferocious beasts shows no heart? An innocent creature lost his eye, and a good man lost his life. But what do I know? I'm just a humble baker. Please, let me know if there's anything I can do in your time of need. Perhaps Grandma's sugar shroom pie can ease the pain a little. These starberries are perfectly ripe, just squishy enough, and with a faint scent of musky cabbage. Now, if you can find me the sugar shrooms, She's all yours, for the discounted rate of one shiny gold coin. Wow, these sugar shrooms look amazing. Just the right amount of shroomy and not too sugary. Now, if you pass me one shiny gold coin, Grandma's giant star shroom pie is all yours. You want that giant pie? It's the only thing I can sell you uh, for one gold coin. Oh, thanks for the patronage. Share this pie with a friend or two, or three. <laughs> and good luck in the tournament. I was wrong about you, Graham. I heard the guards gossiping about it.
is that you, boy? Oh, joy! Graham the Brave is here! Ah, the little boy who wants to do big things. Congratulations on making it to the next round of the tournament. Our crystal ball told us about the eye you presented. Wasn't the cleverest way of going about things, was it? And here we thought you were clever like us. Pity, really. Hopefully you'll use your noggin a bit more in the future. Oh, <laughs> we don't need any more brash knights in Daventry. No matter your choice in life, we will gladly take your money. Business is business. Now, Chester, can you hand me the frog's breath elixir? The frog's breath elixir? Yes. Uh, where is that? Uh, uh, we seem to be out of... Uh, <laughs> you drank it all again, didn't you? Mario, my blood sugar was low. Mm -hmm. oh, it's just so tasty. Since you can't keep your mitts off our supplies, we are halting production. This potion will have to wait until that merchant brings us our delivery. If you find a frog, bring it directly to me, and I will gladly trade you a sample of this potion. And then I'll have to drink the delicious froggy leftovers. Until then, no more free dips. Our order is finally here. Well, part of it anyway. Chester, remind me to leave a poor review for that merchant on the town board. Ah, this should do the trick. Mm. It's close, but it still needs that frog's breath. Well, I'm glad I could help further it along. Yes, and as a token of our appreciation, we would like to give you this, this, um, this? This vial of hypnotic powder. Oh, it's expired. It can work. It was just never finished. Let me guess. It's missing lollipop root. Or baby's tears. I can bring you a tuft of Mr. Fancy Cakes for... Nope. It just needs raisins. Here. Thanks. I guess. Thanks for the momentary lapse in conversation. Ulfi was unquestionably hangry. Now that I am refurbished, I'll allow you to cross. Though a quick-footed peacock already got to that snarling snarlax. Oh, I almost forgot. Goosey, for your act of kindness, Ulfi would like you to have this. Whenever you need me, just give it a blow. Step lively. Alfie needs to get back to the guild meeting. It's almost croissant time. He'd better come soon. Hey, my coin! He needs to work. If I could find a fast way down there, I would be able to hear the password. Nice of you. Goosey, Alfie has to get back to the guild meeting.
Smells like a teenager. Now, give us one shiny gold coin, and the beautiful blue flame lantern will be all yours. Thanks, dearie. And here's your lovely pumpkin lantern with a glowing blue flame candle. Hey, how'd my coin get down there? Can we skip through this part? Too much walking, not enough dragons. Yep. Maybe I could beat someone to the meeting and hear the password. Where do you keep going, Ulfi? Ulfi has very important business to attend to. Uh, have the croissants arrived yet? Ah, I already told you. I forgot the croissant, okay? Can we please move on from the croissant? Guys, I feel like we're talking in circles here. You'd think with his giant head, there'd be a brain bigger than a macaroon. Ulfi. You're so easily tricked into sitting down. You should stand up for our rights. Well, easy. But Alfie likes sitting down. Helps relieve pressure off my back. Look, Pilar, I'm on your side, but I need you to work with me. 
We need to build our bridges and get over this. What's a compromise you can all live with? Oh, there is no compromise. Those tiny ingrates go around stomping on the shoulders of giants with no thought as to who is underneath them. They climb the ladder of success and forgot who got them across their troubled waters. What's in it for us? We will show them all what happens when you cross the wrong bridge. Oh, geez, Pilar, What's this know. doing here? I wouldn't go so far as to say they don't appreciate us, but by golly, I wouldn't go so far as to say they do either. Bridges don't grow on trees. They grow on us. If Daventry wants us to go back to work, Shortcut. those guards need Brilliant. to stop breaking our backs. That Ulfi can agree with. The guards with pointy shoes hurt Ulfi's back. <sighs> so... All of us are aligned with the strategy that the guards need to step like Thanks for getting Ulfie out of there. That meeting was getting heated. I wish Ulfie would stay put. This meeting is already way over schedule. And now, now, Pilar, I don't know if I'd say it like that. He probably knows we don't have the croissant. I'm stuck. What is the knock? And the password. Trust me. <laughs> Très bien. Oh, sorry I had to run again. 